Hello there, Mooganites, and welcome to round two of Grand Elimination Tournament. Here I have that Mugen guy's team on the right, taking on the crazies on the left. You all should know the members, but in case you do not, it is Anansi, Silvermoon, Devitra, and Uroboros for that Mugen guy's team versus Ryan, Trouble Man, DB Kaw, and Jess. I don't know where this fight will be taking place, so I will just go ahead and choose... Ah, Seaside Hill. Why not? It's a Sonic stage. Gotta go faster. Three, two, cherry Kaboom! Remember, elimination still apply in this round! Brian, why are you spitting, man? Uh, who's stuck? Oh, we got Trouble Man. In case y'all didn't know, this Trouble Man was on the right side as a miniature Trouble Man. And one of his entrances was not going to work. Oh, one of them got scooped up by a giant spider. That's gotta be unfortunate. Yum, yum, yum. The crazies are not doing so well. They're being shot at, blasted with dark energy and all that. Yeah, they're not doing so well at all. Brian's the only one left. And things are definitely not looking good for him. Oh, he pulled out a hyper on Devitra. That's got hurt. And he pulled out another hyper. Whoa. How many hypers is he gonna pull out? He's desperately trying to fight back. He doesn't want the crazies to go down that easily. Well, it was a good attempt, Brian, but... Save it for round two, I suppose. We got a Nazi frozen there. Silver Moon now frozen. Things are definitely not looking good for the crazies. Giant dark energy blast that fills up the screen. Kaboom! All four members still remain, meaning that Mugen guy. This team is moving on to round three with all four members still intact. Congratulations, that Mugen guy. You've defeated the crazies. <laughs> all right, list. Who's up next? The crazies are defeated. They ha are gone. We have the Enforcers taking on No Chance. As I recall from last time, No Chance lost a member, which was Subako. She's currently in recovery, which will mean this fight will have to be a free on four. Yeah, I know, it's a bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Fire. So luck is eliminated, so who is their other member? Wicca, Figar, oh, okay, okay, Blossom. Please ignore the picture you just saw. As leader, guess we'll fight first. And then the rest of his team will, well, let's see here. 
I'm not gonna go with any particular orders. But Guts is the leader, so I feel that he should fight first. Madoka, Inya, and Noah. Inya, where are you? There you are. And finally, Noah. Uh, are you up here? There you are. Team No Chance in a 1v1 with Team Enforcers. Well, you know what I mean. 3v4, but still. It's all 1v1s from there. I wish both teams the best of luck. Sueka! Do us proud. As she spits out fire. Got to swing in that giant sword, but it gets hit with a fireball. Oh, oh! Throwing fireballs at him. Oh, and he's got fire of his own to throw at her. Trying to sweep him off his feet. Oh, what's this? Actually, it makes a little comeback with that little chain of binding, but it didn't quite hit him. Oh man, that huge sword's got an advantage over her. She may have projectiles, but S Guts can easily knock her out of them. And Sueka Ibuki is down. The Enforcers are going to be proud today. They took down another member of No Chance. Now we have Flygar. He's a troublesome little dragon. Oh wow, getting hit by assists in those fire breaths. Insane. Guts is getting roasted, but he's sending out Zod. Let's see who's got the most dominant assists here now. Oh, and another fire blast. Oh my goodness. Guts is almost down. He's sending out Zod again. Oh, but Zod didn't get there on time. Flygar took him down. It's up to Madoka. Can she take down Flygar? My goodness. Madoka doesn't stand a chance with all those assists he spam. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Oh, she finally gets in a few hits. Getting in behind him was not a good idea. He quickly turned around and got her. Madoka is eliminated. That is unfortunate. It's up to Noah and Inia. Can either one of them knock out this troublesome little dragon? Inia was updated not long ago, but she doesn't got a massive update to her at AI. She still seems to do the same old thing. In fact, I don't know what 3-2 updated on her. It was a while back. She's actually getting some attacks off. Which is good. My oh my! Flyguard is just ruthless. I'm making a video. After the video, I will. My goodness, she's pulling out some combos. She's trying to make sure Flyguard does not get that chance. But unfortunately, the little guy is too small for her to combo on properly. My goodness, that fire breath. It's dangerous. Oh my goodness, and Inia is down. 
Vigar is a nightmare for most fighters. Oh! No, it goes in and sweeps them off his feet. He may have assists, but Noah's got pure speed. She can get past most of it. Like that. Can Noah sweep the no chance team? Oh, and she takes down Figar. Now it's up to Blossom. Can she take down the Enforcers? That freezing is going to be a problem. Oh! Wow. Oh, she got hit by the ice puddle, though. That's unfortunate. She's actually getting past Blossom's attacks. Pretty darn well, I might add. This fight's getting close. We're down to the last members of each team. Blossom's not doing so very well, though. Is this it? Yes. The Enforcers have taken down Team No Chance. Meaning there was no chance they were going to win. Nah, I'm kidding. But unfortunately, No Chance had put a huge dent in the Enforcers. Noah is the only one left to fight. For the next round, that is. Sorry, folks, I have to ha do this real quick. With no chance being on, Suwaku will not be coming back. Guts. Madoka. <sighs> Sorry, folks. And Inia are all eliminated. But they will come back round four if Noah can get the win for them. Next up, we have a one versus four. Huh. Unfortunately, folks, I cannot do a one versus four. It has to be at least two versus four. Meaning we're going to sub in one magic harp. Yes, a magic harp. No worries, the Magikarp might get some power away. That is if Magneto's lucky enough. I wouldn't grab Magikarp because he doesn't really glitch much. It's just simply one hit, he's gone. So, Magikarp's a temporary fill-in member, but he's not a member of the team. Let's see who Emmett has. Oh, okay, that's Abbott's team right there. Metal Sonic Dash. Oh boy. He has Yu Yuko, Omega Zero, Chrysalid, and Remilia. Yu Yuko. Omega Zero. Familia. And Grizzlid. Oh boy. Uh, I wish both teams the best of luck. Let's hope Magneto can do a sweep. If not, well, things will not be good for him. We'll have this fight take place on the balcony. Go get them, Magikarp! Sweep the entire team for Magneto! Oh, and he's down! That's unfortunate.
My goodness, it's the fight of the projectiles, folks. And Magneto went off on her. Magneto just might do it. He's already hurting Yuyuko pretty darn well. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And down goes Yuyuko. Well, you're not the most supreme mutant, but sure. Uh-oh. Omega's gotta be a challenge. However, due to the health penalty, Omega's gonna get a lot of health taken away on each hit. But of course, he can get it back if his health is 500 or less. This is not looking good. Magneto is not getting in a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, look at that. Just one of those hypers wasn't enough to do something. Uh oh. Omega's healing. Magneto needs to keep up the damage. Oh, he's getting held back again. Hypergrab's not gonna do anything. Oh no. Yuyuko is disqualified, but the rest of Metal Sonic Dash's team still remains. That is unfortunate. However, Ahmed Wiz, you tried. You still did good. There we go. Saved. This unfortunately puts metal... Well, bleh. I might ways out of the tournament. Sorry, Avid. Perhaps next time. And finally, we have the Ponies versus Team Death Rites. Oh no. Villains! And they are the brutal ones. They will not spare these little talking horses any mercy whatsoever. Oh, where is it? Where are they? Let's see here. I got Dinky, I got Rarity. I believe this one's up here. Somewhere. Ah, there you are. Pinky, Rarity, Rainbow, ah, there we go. And Flutter. Uh-oh, I messed up. It's okay, I'll just hunt down the members real quick. I gotta do that anyways. What I did, uh, uh, I accidentally chose turn battle, in which it's not supposed to be like that. But it's okay. I can start a match and quickly exit it. Ha, ah, nice try, Rugal. Oh yeah, by the way, yes, I fixed Dark God Rugal's uh, portrait here. So now he will display properly. However, the other one's just too big. Won't matter. We need to get Simul, not turns. Kane R. Highland. And we will put this fight on the fifth element. Both teams, best of luck. Let's see who shall win, evil or, well, friendship. Oh, and we got go Curfew actually blasting across the screen. Things are not looking good for the ponies.
Oh, we got Rarity using her hyper, which actually causes massive FPS drop. I don't know why. I guess because of the white screen background. They're actually getting some attacks out. Oh, she grabbed Kane. That is not good. I think one of them went down. I don't know. Uh oh. Who she grab? Oh, Dark God Rugal is down. Curfew's down. My goodness. I actually lowered Rainbow's attack to just 1,000 because it's a level 3 hyper. Plus, it's very difficult to grab opponents if they're attacking her. So, even though it looked like it just one hit KO curfew, it's actually 1,000 damage. And all characters usually run on 2,000 damage, so that is only half a health bar. My goodness! The death rates are being ruthless. But of course, that's what they do. They're villains. They are not to be trusted, and they don't trust any else. They're actually getting some damage out, though. Oh my goodness! Rainbow Dash is down. Pinky's down. Rarity seems to be stuck. They had heavy weapons guy up here, but for no avail. And the Death Rice win with a brutal beat down to the ponies. Oh, sorry, but you MLP fans, uh, I'm afraid your team's not going to be advancing anymore. Hope you all enjoyed the fights, Mooganites. Round 3 coming up soon. See ya.